I got it! Ah! I got it! <laughs> Hello. Yes? Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. We're at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. What do you mean? The reception's perfect right now. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. A very disturbed individual sits here. Anybody home? Guess not. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Twenty years' worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. Watto! Samuel! Maximilian! What the? Oh, you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me, Bosco. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max. 
but I think it might be English. <gasps> no, really, what made you convert to British? Everybody's got it in for me, that's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man. They're after me. Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh, no. The skin bodies are like those horrible hairless cats, but ten times worse. Sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah, maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million. These skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? They're still in my... I mean, pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I'd better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from B-Tads. Meaning nothing stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. <laughs> Dash it all! I knew I forgot something. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. What have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the Blooming Skin Bodies haven't gotten yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see, uh, 30 shillings would be about... One million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me. Trust me. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffing. Tickety-boo. Just bring it to the counter. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Nope. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. Who? What the devil? Surely you jest. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Tcha! Piffle! Pish posh! Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip! Honey nut cheerio! I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Horse off, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets! <laughs> Bugger! Blimey! Bollocks! The little blighted did it again! After him! I mean, Tally Ho! Tally Ho! Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped! Hey! After those rats! There they are! Let's get them! How dare
do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin buddies can't be stabbed! Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask! Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Missed him. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stabbed! The skin buddies don't give in to nobody! <laughs> you can't dodge my shots forever! Watch it! The skin buddies can't be stopped! Missed them. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped! You can't dodge my shots forever! Watch it! The skin buddies can't be stopped! Shoot them, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. You can't dodge my shots forever! Watch it! The skin buddies can't be stopped! Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Missed him. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped! Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Stay out of the loo. It's knackered. Chill. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Nachos. They're mine. Nachos! Hey, Bosco. We've retrieved your precious shaving cream. Jolly good show. Jolly good. Now, if you're wondering about the reward money, yes, we do accept personal checks and all major credit cards. No. As a reward for retrieving the can of shaving cream, I hereby grant you a can of shaving cream. Gee, thanks. Hello, sir. What ho, old beans. Thanks, Bosco. Doodle pip. Tickety talk. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories.
Nothing useful in here. Impressive credentials. Thank you. Where's Diploma Mill College? It's in Battle Creek. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. This appears to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Huh? It's my new career! I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it! There's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it! It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No! What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barber shop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once! If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W.A.R.P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't! There's only one explanation for a propeller on the wall. Yes, this TV station is a giant flying battleship! Either that, or it's just a prop. Huh, <laughs> get it? I vote for the giant flying battleship. Need a broom, little buddy? I don't use brooms, Sam. I necessitate the use of them.
Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No wonder I haven't seen it. Hey, even the scaffold is just a prop. Yeah, from that show about the TV crew that solves crimes around the station using advanced forensics and overly dramatic reenactments? Come on, who ever heard of a crime at a TV station? Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could a fool... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name, Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative, and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less? If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago, and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready? I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies, understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit! Um... Grrr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm... Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who- Zip it. 
Okay, Max, I just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh... <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam! We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left! Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Midtown Cowboys, that away. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs, and not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to say the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They're probably hiding a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! All right, I know you've got a... Oh, for pity's sake! This will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow! Cut! Amateurs! <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was! Hey, bossy. 
I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. How convenient. This way we can shoot a TV show about people watching a TV show. And if the show they're watching is the show of themselves watching, the universe could fold in on itself and explode! Best leave it turned off, then. What's that thing? I don't know. It was here when we took over the building after the dot-com bust. Hi, Mom. These are all thesauri. Who decorated this set? English majors working for peanuts, as usual. I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the Soda Pop?